I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop. This specific one is an Acer Aspire 5 A515-51-52BQ. This one do come with an Intel iCore Pi 7 Gen. And in this video, based on the request that you guys keep putting through, it's how to open it up, how to clean it, and how to repaste. And how you can fix a little bit of defect that they have in these models on the heatsink. That's why it overheats sometimes on the GPU if you're trying to render or something like that. And we're going to fix that one. All right. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. And we're going to go over the tools that you're going to be needing. They're really simple too. Number one is an alcohol, is an isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 95% plus. So anything over 90% or 95% over should be good. You want to get yourself a working towel. These are the workshop towels. These are really suitable to cleaning a CPU and everything like that. So grab these ones. And you will need a thermal paste. The, one of the best thermal paste I recommend you guys to have is the Arctic MX4. Or you can go with an uh, Arctic Silver 5. If you want to go over the board and overkill, go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. But I would suggest for you guys to use an Arctic Silver 5 or MX4. In this case, we're going to use a Silver Arctic uh, Silver 5. For the screwdriver set, I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. You can get the simple screwdriver set or you can get the uh, pro version which includes you an opening tool which we're going to be using, a tweezers which we may be losing and many other things. From here I have a screwdriver set and we're going to grab a Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, uh, if you don't have the pro version, just grab a guitar pick. A flexible metallic guitar pick is really durable and it will, it's good for opening covers. For the tweezers, I'm going to be using a curved and a straight tweezers. The straight one might not be even necessary. With all this on hand, you will need a thermal pad. And we're going to be using a 0.1 millimeter thermal pads. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. And we should get it started. Power off the laptop completely. First thing first, we're gonna remove this big cover right on this side. This is the hard drive cover by removing one screw. And then lift up the cover by your fingernails or a screw, just pull it up really hard. Now we're gonna remove the bracket for the hard drive by removing four screws on the side. These are tiny screws. Now we're gonna lift it up from the back end from here. Right here, we're gonna lift it up. Don't lift it up from this side, lift it up from here. And remove the adapter for the hard drive by pulling it away from the adapter. Be careful with the flex cable, don't stress that cable. Put the hard drive to one side. Now the rest should be really easy. All you need to do is remove all the screws at the bottom cover, including the one in the three in the middle, the one on the cover too. Go ahead and remove all the screws. Don't worry, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just remove all of them. Also, if you like my content and if it's helping you guys out to do upgrade service and you know, replacing parts, you can support the channel by subscribing and clicking like on my videos. I'll greatly appreciate it and it will be a tremendous support. Also, you can leave your questions or requests on my video comment. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I always answer them no matter what. All right, once you remove those screws, all you need to do is to grab the guitar pick. You want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover of the laptop, not on the screen, on the bottom cover here. Find it and manage it to stick it right there. And now you want to twist it toward the bottom of the laptop and you should hear a few big clicks. Just keep twisting it. Go to the corner, maybe I forgot a screw. Yes, I forgot a screw on the corner. So twist the corners, always double check the screws, make sure you don't have any screws left. Do the side, go to the back corner. Okay, and do the left and right side, both sides. 
Okay, once you did the bot side, now you want to do the back end of the laptop. Just grab it and just twist, twist, and it should release the back cover. And then just simply grab the bottom cover, flip it over, and grab an old toothbrush or new toothbrush, and go ahead and clean up the bottom cover. You can even wash it up, leave it for dry. And down here, we're going to see a big battery. First, we're going to disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backward. Just put your fingers on the side of the white jack and pull it back evenly like that okay once you disconnect the battery now we're going to remove the heat sink and the fan first we're going to remove the heat sink by removing four screws one okay once you remove the four screws you can look at right through here it is not noticeable you can see uh, another crystal die right here. It has no contact toward the copper sheet. There's a big space right in there. So you can see that big space right there. The second die right on the CPU is not touching the die. It's not even uh, located nicely. But this is a design defect that they have, or let's call it defect. They didn't put a, they give the dimension for the CPU, but they never told them which way they go what. So. We're going to remove it, lifting up from the tail cell. Look at all those dust in here. So that's what you want to clean. So and once we flip it the other way around, and then you can see the thermal paste, it is touching this die. But if this was switched the other way around, 180 degrees, this die would be right over here, which they had active thermal paste ready for this one to be applied. So because of the design error, it's not actually touching the thermal paste. So what are we going to do in here? We're going to clean up the thermal paste. First, yeah, let's go ahead and remove it. Apply a little bit of alcohol on the towel. On the motherboard, first clean up the dye nicely. Okay. Once you clean it up, now we're going to clean up the thermal paste in here. There we go. Now we're going to grab it out, take it outside with a toothbrush. We're going to clean it and blow some air through here and removing all this dust. All right. Now that we clean up the heat sink, we're going to remove the fan by removing two screws for the fan. Okay, lift up the fan, remove this tape. You don't need this tape. These tapes are called gaffer's tape, but you don't need them. Uh, unhook the jack from here. Make sure you pull them from the side of the jack. Don't pull on the cable. And this is pretty dirty. It looks very dirty. So you're gonna take it outside, clean it with a brush nicely. Here you go, we cleaned up the fan. Now we're going to place the fan right on top, put the two screws for the fan. I'm going to show you a trick to uh, mount the heatsink to for a better performance. There's are two tricks that I'm going to show you guys. Plug in the cable. You don't need to tape it down. Now, first, uh, what you want to do, you see this uh, support right on the corner here. These supports are really flat, so it's not actually pushing the heatsink towards the CPU. It's supposed to push it towards the CPU. So put your finger here and just pull this hinges backward a little bit so you get this curvature right there. So you want this curve coming upward. So pull it back. Make sure they are evenly pulled back. So this will give you more tension. It will pull the heat sink towards the CPU better. So you want to grab your thermal paste, put one drop on the big die. Okay. And for the secondary die, I'm going to use a one millimeter thermal pad. So grab a thermal pad that you wish. Just put it right on top. Doesn't matter if it's bigger than the die. Just put it right on top. 
and now we're gonna first make sure you put this um, plastic here under the fan so it has to go under the fan otherwise it's gonna cover the airflow bring it right over and now you want to set it down and put the four screws for the heat sink make sure you cross screw them always cross screw them put one there and one right all the way to the other end so as long as you cross screw them you're fine or they actually have a number one two three four or you can do four three two one doesn't matter as long as you cross screw them now you're gonna get a better contact right now and the thermal pad is gonna actually help the heat sink and the pulling on the on these things is even better pressure more pressure better heat transfer now the last part would be to grab the three contact right here and plug it in straight inward make sure it has to go straight don't go sideways in has to go straight and pinch it right through and align the cables assign them right there And the last step would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it over straight on top and squeeze the sides, the back end, make sure you don't big clicks. That's what you want to hear. Grab the hard drive, put the contact for the hard drive in place and put the four screws that hold the caddy on the base of the laptop. Right, grab the cover. Make sure this end of the cover on this side goes down first in here and then squeeze the rest. Put the single screw that holds the cover in place. And the last step is really easy. Just slam all the bottom screws on the bottom cover, tighten up, don't forget the middle ones and that should be all. Also remember when you power on the laptop, it might take five to 10 seconds to boot up because we disconnected the battery so that would may affect the first initial boot to take up to 10 to 15 seconds maybe so don't panic don't worry that's going to be initial as always if you guys like this video you know what to do click that like and support the channel by subscribing if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video